Hey everybody, it's been so long. I thought I would share with you my book binding bin. I have a little corner of my desk <laughs> uh, carved out right now for a little book binding that I was going to start. I have all my paintings next to me that I worked on last night. I put them on my Instagram this morning, so you can go see those there. I should probably move them over, but hey. Anyways, I wanted to share with you some of my favorite bookbinding tools that I use. I'm going to be doing the Coptic Stitch, and I'll show you some things that I just used and some things that I'm getting out to use. One of the things that I just used was my cutting board, cutting mat. I got it for my birthday a couple years ago, I think. My ruler, Illuma, Illumi cutter that I use to cut my book board. One side is um, taller than the other. And that's the side that I that you put your blade against so that you don't accidentally come off the edge and cut yourself, which I've done before. I keep all of my book binding things in this little tub here. I have a pretty minimal setup, um, but I use the Ulfa LAX. box cutter for cutting my book board. I was also getting out this. I just have two scraps of book board that I use for punching my holes into so I'm not punching into my table. I have my awl that I got from Hollanders. I like little things so I got the mini one perfect. Hollanders.com. They have so many book binding things. Give a shout out below if you're a Hollanders fan. Fun fact, I used to work there before I started teaching. And I've taught one workshop, one workshop there. I was also getting out, what else am I getting out? Oh yeah, a pencil. <laughs> Happen to have a Ticonderoga. And I have a bunch of templates that I use for marking my holes to punch in my signatures and my book board of the set. I sometimes I use the same size because these are these lined pages are pre-cut. Uh, so they're, you know, this is my template for those. And I was going to get out my, what do you call this, triangle? <laughs> I don't know what it's called. It's called a triangle, but I use it to help me mark my signature holes. I'm stations, I think is what they're called. And let me know if you wanna see my other things in here. Uh, I could make another video, but for now, I'm not using any of these things. So I'm going to set this aside and I'll show you a couple more things. One thing is how I mark my holes or my stations. Is that what they're called? Stations? I don't even have my tripod set up right now. Maybe I'll get that out. But anyways, let's see. Classic Emily YouTube video. But I do have a new phone. Is the quality better? I think it's better. I'm gonna move this mat because I don't need it anymore. So I'm gonna use these pre-cut lined signatures, pre-cut, pre-folded, and I'm gonna use my pencil, my 
my little template here and I'm going to use this triangle what is that called is it does it have a fancy name I don't know all right let's see if I can set this up here I don't think I can I don't have fancy photo equipment but basically what I'm doing is I am setting it on top and then I set this like this and I run my pencil up against the folded side so that I create straight stations. So I'm going to set this down and do that and then I'll show you what it looks like. And there they are, straight lines to mark or to punch my holes. So I know people have different preferences for punching their holes. Sometimes people open up their signatures and punch from the inside. I think they're punching uh, cradles, I think is what they're called. Um, but basically, I just, wow, I need to get my tripod set up, um, open it up, press it down, and I punch my holes. So, that's fun. <laughs> I will go ahead and do that, and I'll show you what it looks like. Right, there are my holes. And now I'm just going to go ahead and line up my book board for the covers. I decided to paint the covers to see how that worked. And I'm going to use the same template and I'm just going to make sure that there's an even space along here. I don't really, I kind of eyeball it at this point, but maybe like a quarter of an inch, roughly. And then I'm just gonna mark, or I'm gonna punch those, and then the, they will all line up. All right, there are the holes that I punched. They look like this on the back. And then I like to just flip mine over and just repunch these back cover holes with my awl. So for five signatures, I noted that I need 28 inches of thread for each side, but I'm using six signatures. So I'm just gonna estimate, I should probably mark how much that would need as well. But these are my threads that I use, waxed linen thread. And I sell these on my Etsy shop in five yard lengths because, well, they come in 100 yard lengths and I know not everybody needs 100 yards. So I figured I would help you out with that. I have some plants here, <laughs> too, next to my window. Nice and sunny day, and now I get to decide oh, what color I would like. Hmm. Do you have any ideas? What color would you use? Leave a comment below if you have a strong opinion. I'm thinking probably, well, do you want to know what my favorite one is? You might already know. Butterscotch, definitely a favorite. It's been a favorite for all of my time book binding. I always lean towards the butterscotch. My magenta I got new recently. I really like that one too. That might be too bright for this. I got, I forgot what the, that one's called, but that one's a new one. And then sa salmon is also a new color for me. It's not new, but it is, it's a new one for me. Um, but I think, gosh, I think I'm going to do this vintage rose. Maybe I'll do both. Do a multicolor one. Hmm. I don't know. While I'm thinking about it, I know a lot of you have been asking if I've done a tutorial on my Coptic stitch, and I haven't. I do teach in-person in workshops 
So let me know below if you'd want to come to Michigan for an in-person Coptic stitch workshop um, and I'll teach you. I haven't done any recently because of COVID, but hey, maybe one day soon. All right, let me um, measure these out and stitch it up. I just use this regular needle. Uh, I think it's number 12. <laughs> I just got it at Joanne's, um, but I use these for my book binding. I know some people like curved needles, which I used to have. I don't know if I have it anymore. I don't know. I like straight needles better. Are you a book, if you're a book binder, what's your preference? I'm curious. I know. I know it's uh you're either a straight needle or a curved needle person. And I'm going to stitch this together. So hang tight to see what color thread I chose. All right, here is my finished book. I used vintage rose thread. Uh, thanks for watching. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. I'm also going to link some items down below for where you can find different things that I mentioned in this video. So check the description below and I'll see you next time.